Welcome to PC Woods Kids Tech Talk. Today we're looking at part two of my overclocking guide. We're going through things slowly and uh, we're looking at the BIOS today more than anything else. Okay, so we're looking at an Intel CPU today as, as the example, but uh, what I'm talking about really applies to both types of CPUs really. Just be careful what you're doing if you're not sure, okay, because uh, you are at risk obviously when you overclock. Make sure that you do have sufficient cooling, that your motherboard supports overclocking things like that that I mentioned in my first part of the video because remember you're really pushing the limits of your CPU beyond what the default um, uh, values were were set to okay now to change those default values you need to go into your bias okay so the bias you press delete when you boot up your machine sometimes you press F1 when you boot up your machine and then you have to look for an option that allows you to overclock in my case it's called cell menu but in yours it might be called something else Right, so different screens to get into the same similar types of options basically to allow you to overclock your memory and your CPU. Okay, so here is what I'm running today in this example it's a uh, Intel Core i5 CPU, and we're overclocking this to 4 gigahertz. Um, we're testing it in different uh, modes, right? We're going to try to overclock it to 3, then to 4. As you can see here, these are the settings that I have enabled and disabled. The uh, key two items to look at is the base frequency so that's the front side bus the bus clock speed in other words that's the same meaning and the CPU multiplier so if I increased the uh, base clock to 197 and the multiplier to 17 I get 3.3 gigahertz okay um, if I wanted to increase it to 4 gigahertz and I'd increase the multiplier to 21 increase the uh, base clock to uh, 190 or a little bit higher and then of course you have to increase your voltage so when it comes to voltage you need to know what is the default voltage of your CPU is it 1.325 volts uh, is it um, 1.2 volts right or is it you know so you need to check that and then from there you can increase by 0 0.05 or by 0 0.1 if you're not sure go to the Intel website go to the MD website here are the links on those websites it tells you for each CPU what the default voltage is and then that way you can increase it little by little like I mentioned in my part one video on overclocking now when it comes to overclocking memory it's the same deal what is the default voltage of your DDR that you bought it says right on it and what is the rated speed right is it uh, set to um, 1333 megahertz uh, the top rated is it 1600 is it uh, you know what so you gotta check that is it compatible meant for Intel CPUs more that kit that you're planning to buy or is it meant for AMD or both some of them are black edition some of them are triple channel for uh, core i7 so you can't just buy any RAM okay so make sure you know what you're buying um, the other thing is when you go into the bias into those overclocking settings you're gonna see the um, settings to take off the um, auto and put it to manual right by doing that and going into your memory settings and manually setting the timings you can tighten them and increase the speed right so by default you might have bought RAM a kit that says it's 99924 those are the timings okay that it comes with so you would go into the bias and then change those timings manually to 777 um, 20 for example right and how would you know what to change it to well you need to do a little bit of research on that memory that you're buying to see what are the timings that other people have applied and you can apply them similarly right what are the limits of that memory right so you need to understand that and do some research on the RAM that you're buying so that way you know what it is that you can overclock this to now when I'm talking about overclocking I mean uh, if by default you bought a 1066 megahertz kit well maybe you can uh, put it to 10 to sorry to 1333 megahertz so that would be um, ratio number four in my case and by doing that I'm able to um, get uh, 1520 megahertz out of that for my DDR3 kit for example okay so the way that it's calculated as you can see here is the bus speed of the system times 2 and then whatever that equals to you times it by 4 because effectively you're running DDR um, dual channel so that multiplies by 4 and that's how you get the total amount that's how it's calculating it here in the bias you can see it says 1520 megahertz for the adjusted RAM frequency now for that RAM that I have the default is 1.8 so because I'm increasing it a little bit you know you might want to change it to 1.85 right a little bit uh, higher so that uh, you can keep up with the demand that you're trying to do to the RAM some cases you don't have to adjust it at all 
but if your system freezes when you're testing it or if it doesn't boot into Windows or you get a blue screen after you've overclocked to change your settings, then it's probably because of these uh, memory settings that you need to tweak and go back and forth. Okay, so in part three, we'll go through some more examples on adjusting this and um, and trying different uh, different options on an AMD CPU. Okay, so uh, keep your questions coming and I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.